friends, how are you today? I am doing well. It is a cloudy type day outside and it's raining a little bit, but I'm fine with that because I, I enjoy the rain. I enjoy the darkness because this makes a perfect time to throw on one of my Scream Factory Blu-rays or DVDs and watch a horror movie. Yes, when it's a cloudy, drab, dreary day, nothing better during the day. Open up your blinds, let a little bit of that darkness light does that make sense darkness light rainy day come into your house and throw on a horror movie and just chill that's that's it that's all i gotta say about that just 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 relax take it all in listen to listen to the rain pit a patter on your porch and watch some horror movies and luckily i just got three new pickups three new scream factory titles a few of them i know what they are and one of them i'm not too familiar with maybe you can help me out in the comments below as we're talking about them and let's begin. The first one I picked up was the movie Ghost Ship. Mr. Murphy, I'm Jack Farrington. I fly the Arctic Weather Patrol. Last month, I was out in the middle of the street when I came across this. Congratulations. You found a boat in the middle of the ocean. What do you think a ship like this could be worth? Depends on if we have the right to salvage it. I do know one thing. C gives you an opportunity to take it. Yo, Murph, I think you should get up here. Ocean liner. It's the Antonio Grasa. Any sign of what might have happened? Nothing. No passengers. No crew. No captain. No mention of anything in the ship's log. What do you make of that? A ghost ship. I think I saw something I couldn't possibly have seen. I think I saw a little girl. This isn't real. We're all trapped here. I want to show you something. I told you guys earlier that there was something seriously wrong with this boat. Haunted, possessed, whatever you want to call it. I said we get our boat going and get the hell out of here. We have got to get off this boat now. Bon voyage. Yes, ghost ship. Um, I had this on DVD. This is a upgrade. When I had it on DVD, I didn't really care for it. I watched it, and I didn't remember it. Now, usually my, my, my rule is if I don't remember it, it couldn't have been that good. But then again, sometimes when I don't remember, it might have been because I was exhausted and tired and I didn't really want to watch it. But this one was actually pretty good. I I, I got to tell you that if you have not seen Ghost Ship, the opening scene to this movie is breathtaking. Okay, I'll, that's where I'm, I'm going to say breathtaking. It, it is, as far as horror movies go, the opening scene to this movie it will have you in Oh, right out the gate and it's funny that i didn't remember when i watched it on dvd i just find i find it really really funny that that it wasn't one of these things that stuck in my head because when i watched this you know it it, it was like wow this this that that opening scene should have stuck in my head it should have should have been there but it's a movie about these scavengers they they collect ships um this guy shows up hires them to go find the ship they, they go out to the middle of nowhere to find this ship and then come to find out it was a ship that actually was supposedly sunk I want to say 40 years earlier. I might I might be wrong on that, but I, I want to say it's 40 years. So 40 years, the ship has been missing, and all of a sudden, 40 years later, the ship all autom automatically, doesn't automatically, it, miraculously, miraculously, suddenly, suddenly pops up. Yeah, 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 it pops up, and it's in good shape. Like, like I never, nothing ever happened to it, you know what I mean? So they board the ship to see what the condition is of it, because they're going to they're gonna take the ship, they're going to tow it back with a little tugboat there, and they're going to they're gonna resell the ship. And I, I supposedly, I mean, according to the movie, if a ship is lost for over a certain amount of years, then it becomes public domain. I don't know if I believe that, but um, they're going to tugboat this ship back. But 
of course, it's a ship contained with ghosts because of the dramatic thing that happens in this opening scene that you have to see. So once again, Screen Factory does a unbelievable job of cleaning this thing up, giving you some special features, special features in this thing, uh, new audio commentary, new interviews with the producer and actors, which you know is very important to me because I enjoy listening to the actors. Uh, Isaiah Washington, special uh, special effects, makeup supervisors, uh, Max on the set of Ghost Ship, uh, secrets of uh, Antonia Graza. I don't know what that is. A closer look at the gore, designing the ship, uh, falling music video by Mudvayne, and theatrical trailers. Once again... Scream Factory did it again, and they, of course, you get the slip cover, and you get the original cover art, and sometimes I like to re reverse it so you can do that little, you know, thing there where you got the you got the slip, and then you got the cover art. You know what I mean? Uh, I gotta put this thing in plastic because I don't want nothing to happen to the slip. But Scream Factory, and well, I gotta, I gotta look at it like my, my see, see my brain, Woo. Ghost Ship. You should check it out. It was it, it was good. Second time around, it was good. I got I gotta I, I got I gotta not judge things when I'm like half out of my mind. You know what I mean? I gotta I had to sit down and focus and watch this movie and, and be like, Whew, okay. All right, next one is something I, I don't know anything about. It was a Scream Factory. It was I, I, I heard it was going out of print and I've been eyeballing it only because of the cover. And it's a movie called Munchies and Munchies. Oh, it's Mun sorry, Munchies. Munchie and Munchies. Sweetwater, a new and inviting desert community. Violation! This is gonna be a great day. Filled with kind and loving families. But I am your stepson. I know, I was treated you like it was, didn't I? Oh. With mature and responsible teenagers. <laughs> and then, one day... Did you hear something? Something odd appeared. Exactly what they are is uncertain. I'm South American cockroach dad. I'm out of here. Their origins are somewhat hazy. It's an alien. Amigo? Maybe an illegal alien. And while their manner can be quite charming... He's so cute. Can't we take him out of the bag now? Their habits can be a little bizarre. <laughs> Paul, not so rough. I haven't done anything yet. Gross! <laughs> 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 but you'd better treat them right. You're not laughing anymore, are you, pal? Because they're not necessarily nice. <laughs> Munchies! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. What is that? What are they? I'm sure that thing's a cat. Murder? No one kills my tropical fish at Nymph. I'm on the case! <laughs> Just dropped in for a bite. Munchie, starring Harvey Corman, from the creator of Little Shop of Horrors, Munchies. So you get two movies in here, pop one, pop two. So you get the original, this is a Scream Factory. You get the original art. No, you don't get the original art. This this one's a little strange, okay? Because they don't give you the original art. What you get is a, uh, like a picture of the the munchie there. I guess that's what it is. Um, okay, why did I want to get this? I mean, come on, it's munchie or munchies. I mean, this I, I it's got like this. Uh, I'm assuming if you look at the one on the right, it has a lady in red type feel about it. The movie with Gene Gene Wilder and uh, Kelly LeBrock. Um, so I'm guessing that's kind of like a spoof in the cover of the Lady in Red, and then the right one. Look at it, look at that, look at that guy. Come on, this is this is gonna be a treat. I mean, I'm assuming that it probably cost him ten cents to make this movie, and uh, I I'm thinking it's probably gonna be one of my favorites, or it could be a complete throwaway. But bottom line is, supposedly Munchie and Munchies is going out of print. You got two movies. I paid fifteen dollars on eBay from some some dude that that it popped up. It was like hey, fourteen ninety five shipping, da -da -da, shipping free. Taxes, I don't know why we tax things that we already purchased and then tax them again. Uh, that This eBay thing, that eBay thing confused me a little bit because if I already bought it, then I was already taxed. And But then again, now I'm the consumer and I'm buying it from somebody else. 
So maybe I'm being, but but then yeah, I guess they gotta put on their taxes. And I'm guessing it makes sense in the long run, and we don't want to do nothing wrong. So I, I I'll pay the taxes. But anyway, so fifteen dollars plus change, and I, Munchie and Munchies two, Munchie and Munchies part one and part two. Comment below if this is any good. If you've ever seen this movie, if you know anything about this movie, I don't, I don't know uh, movies. I don't know anything about these movies. I, I watched a um a little snippet of a trailer on Munchie, and it kind of reminded me of a Critters slash uh, Gremlins slash Meet Disney. Not Disney. Muppets. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Not Disney. Muppets. Yeah, because the, the characters are just so not believable you know <laughs> like you know you know this is like a puppet or something like that but and it, i don't know these even kids they're rated what, pg they're both rated pg so i mean i don't even know if these are like kids type movies i don't know it's probably kind of strange for a screen factor to release something that's not rated r or pg-13 or whatever and and i mean they look like kids movies are they kids movies maybe you know comment below and my last Scream Factory pickup, and I was kind of happy to get that. I was putting this one off for a while because the price was crazy. But then I, I checked the Scream Factory list, and I realized it's going out of print. So I'm like, okay, well, this I, I got to drop the hammer now because if I don't, then I'm, I'm probably going to miss it, and then I'm, I'm not going to pick it up, and then it's going to go for an outrageous amount of money, and I'm probably going to be kicking myself for it. And it's a movie that I actually thought was halfway decent when I saw it back in the day. It started a lot of people that... I, that were really, really popular back in the day. When I say back in the day, I'm talking like the 90s. All right, and it's a movie called Urban Legends. Today we get more specific. This is what we call an urban legend. Contemporary folklore passed on as a true story. Something you might have heard about mixing pop rocks and soda. Supposedly, your stomach and your intestines burst. Voila, still alive. Mr. Cross, please. <laughs> He's going to explode! Somebody call 911! <laughs> they are the legends we've all heard. Gang members drive around at night with their headlights off. And when someone goes to flash from their high beams to warn them, they kill them. The stories we've all told. A guy and a girl, and they're parked out in the woods. And the guy steps out, and the girl starts to hear these scratching noises. It's her dead boyfriend hung from a tree. The tales we've all listened to. Isn't there another story about a guy with an axe hiding in a woman's back seat? My mom still checks the back seat before getting into a car. But just because it never happened doesn't mean it never will. The decapitated body was found in her car. I knew I should have gone to NYU. This girl, she could have been any one of us. What if there is a lunatic on campus? What is he gonna do next, huh? <laughs> Maybe put spider eggs in Bubblicious? <laughs> the idea of an urban legend serial killer. It's a stretch. The call's coming from inside the house. Could it be an urban legend? <laughs> I can help you with. I want to know what's going on here. Someone out there is taking all these urban legends and making them reality. Urban legend. Have you heard the one about the microwave? Okay, um, once again, i seen this movie. Probably saw it more than once. It ain't clicking. It ain't sticking. I don't remember, but Urban Legends, if you know what Urban Legend is, like, it's like the story's like, um, uh, what's, uh, what's her name there? Uh, you say it, uh, Bloody Mary and stuff like that. Like, like the things that they, that you'd hear back in the day when you were a kid and they're like, oh, the, this lady died in the, in the river, you know, so make sure you don't go swimming in the river, that, that kind of stuff. And, uh, they made a whole movie about it and it, uh, now, it doesn't say anything, but it's, it has the, the kid in it from Dawson's Creek, and there's a couple other stars in it. Uh, I'm gonna show you. The, I'll show you the cover and see if you can pick. Is that Jared Leto? 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 That's what it looks like. Let's let's, let's show you the cover. Yeah, maybe you can figure out who these people are. Does it say? Let me see. Does it ever say who the stars are in these things? Uh, TV's The Exorcist. I didn't really have a TV's The Exorcist. Alicia Witt from TV's The Exorcist. That must have been a big hit, because I don't even remember The Exorcist having a TV show. Um, it doesn't say any other actors on here. Joshua Jackson is the guy from 
um, Dawson's Creek. Yeah, everybody else, I don't know. It is Jared Leto. Okay, well, we got a Jared Leto. Okay, we got a, a uh, pre-terrible uh, Joker. Uh, yeah, so once again, Screen Factory, you get your slip cover, which if you're a flipper, you probably take this and you sell it on eBay for $100, and then you get your, is it a DVD Blu-ray combo pack or is it just a Blu-ray? Oh, no, we get, oh, this is a good one. Okay, we get Urban Legends of Film and Urban Legends of Special Features. And did they give me the original? Yep, you get the, you get the, uh, oh, this actually, this is the original cover art. This is the, the license, license, the, the re, the rehash, the relicense, the re, what do they call it when they, they hired a person to, anyway, it's the new cover art that, that was created just for the Screen Factory thing. And, um, of course, once again, Screen Factory, I mean, we got two discs, so you know you're going to get a ton of stuff in there. I don't want to go, uh, commentaries and, uh, documentaries and, uh, let me see, documentaries, never before seen behind the scene footage, archival makeup effects, uh, interviews, interviews, more interviews, a bunch of interviews, theatrical trailers, um, you get a lot of stuff. And, uh, like I said, I, I was looking on the, the site and supposedly this is going out of print, so I wanted to grab it before it... Is totally gone. There was there's something else right now. Like it's a Criterion Rosemary's Baby that I'm kind of kicking myself about right now because the price went crazy. I've never seen Rosemary's Baby, but I felt like I needed it in my horror section. But now they're releasing it for fourteen ninety nine. Now, do I technically need the Criterion Collection if I it's a movie I've never even seen and don't really know anything or care really about? I mean, do I really need the Criterion? I, I'm good with that. Though. I'm like I really ooh, what, what, Criterion Criterion. Just the name Criterion makes you think that you're you just you just got something that that's like. Oh, you know, you're, you're like the prince of, of DVD and Blu-ray collecting because you have the Criterion collection. You know what I mean? And uh, Rosemary Baby was released on Criterion. Now it's out of print. But uh, Amazon has for $14.99 coming out, I think, next month. Rosemary's Baby for $14.99 on Blu-ray. So I mean, they're both Blu-ray. Of course, the Criterion's probably going to have more stuff on it, kind of like a Scream Factory. But I missed out on that. And I'm not going to pay $100 or $89 for a movie that I don't know anything about or I haven't even seen. Or probably I'm not even going to like. You can do it! Um, but this movie I remember seeing. I remember liking it. And it was $24. I shot the 20 I, I went over my my ooh, $20 boundary. Okay, Because I, I, in my head, I'm like, I don't want to spend any more than $20 for a Blu-ray. No more. No more. And But knowing that was out of print and knowing that I... I I love Scream Factory, and I and I have a huge Scream Factory collection, but that is for another time. And with that said, I want to thank everybody for hitting that subscribe button. I, my, my subscribers are going out. I'm going out. Going, I hope you're going out. Go out. Have a good time. Have, come back and watch my video. No, I'm going up, and I appreciate your subscri wow. subscriptions. I appreciate that, you know, because it makes me feel good. You know, I'm sitting here talking to to, to my camera, and, and it's nice to know that somebody on the other side of the lens... That's appreciating me for what I'm doing it. You can do it. If you like these videos, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you later.